Good morning YouTube, how are you? Hope you're really well and you've had a great week. Antonia here from timpanies.com. This week we're going to be discussing wedding guests. My universe will never be the same. I'm glad you came. We've had loads of occasion wear coming in and I thought that I might just do a really quick video on the do's and don'ts of what to wear when you're a wedding guest. And I'm going to break it down really simply, we're going to cover clothes, we're going to cover shoes and we're going to cover hats. You can let me know your comments below, um, share it with someone you know is attending a wedding and let's kick off. So you've been invited to a wedding, how wonderful, maybe three, maybe four, maybe eight like I was last year. Oh my goodness, what on earth do I wear to all of these weddings? Right, let's first and foremost consider the clothes. Number one, what does it say on the invitation? I know that sounds basic, but let's have a look. What is the dress code? If it says white tie, black tie, formal, lounge shoots, all these different options, I would say first and foremost, go to debretts.com. They have a really good breakdown of what you should wear for each individual dress code. So once you've had a little look at the dress code and you know exactly what it entails, the next thing I would say is really make an effort within that dress code. It really does show utmost respect when you adhere to the code and you also really do make an effort. I would suggest if you're going to a wedding that you dress appropriately. So for example, you might well be in a church. So do make sure that your shoulders are covered, that you don't have too much of a strappy dress, not too much bosom on show, that you wouldn't have too much of your back revealed, that the dress is an appropriate length. I would suggest knee length or actually, do you know what? Midi styles at the moment are so beautiful. Why not opt for a midi style? Colours traditionally you would avoid would be black and white, but also beyond that, if you do know the bridal colours, it is also polite to try and avoid them so you're not mistaken for a bridesmaid. At the end of the day, it's all about the bride, isn't it? Just be sensitive to whose wedding you're going to, that you wouldn't in any way steal the limelight from the bride. Another thing to consider is the venue that you're going to. If you're going to be in a marquee, perhaps it might not be the warmest as the sun goes down. So do make sure that you've got a really elegant coat or a little jacket just to keep you warm right through to the end of the day. I did also want to mention that I've seen a lot of ladies in trouser suits at weddings recently and I just think it is a really elegant look. So if you're not that comfortable in a dress, I would always say maybe go and look for a beautiful and elegant trouser suit, whether it be um, cigarette pants or palazzo, both are equally stunning. The other thing whilst we are talking about clothing is just a little bit on hair and makeup. I would err on the side of a more natural look, but I would also say if you don't tend to wear that much makeup, but it is nice just to put on a little bit. It just finishes the outfit really beautifully. So do make sure that you've got your nails beautifully done, your hair is done, and so is your makeup. And don't forget just to take a few bits in your bag in case it does need topping up throughout the day. Because um, I have had those moments when I niche the toilet, I look in the mirror and I'm thinking, oh my goodness, you know, this is not how I remember looking when I left the house. <laughs> One thing that I did invest in after that said moment was a setting spray. Um, I'll flash it up here but essentially it just sets your makeup all day and um, it means that you just really need to take a few little bits in your bag just to keep things looking fresh. So we've had a little discussion about clothes, let's talk about hats. I'm sure you guys know by now, but we are based in Berkshire. We're literally a stone's throw from Royal Ascot. So around here, we do go a little bit crazy about hats. But I would suggest that at a wedding, you wouldn't necessarily want to be going for the Royal Ascot look. The crazy kind of everything goes style of chapeau. No, you wanna be keeping it a little bit traditional 
a little bit understated. Um, you could even opt for a fascinator or even just a headpiece. I would tend to err towards just popping a little bit of something um, on your head, in your hair, just to finish off the outfit. It's by no means mandatory, but it really does just finish off and polish your look. So with regards to hats, there are a few rules. As I say, probably don't go for something too large and too ostentatious simply because there will be photos and you may well block out someone that's rather important to the wedding party or for instance you actually might not even be caught because the room of your hat is so large you're not picked out in photos. Something else that you might want to consider is ladies in church you leave your hats on and gentlemen you take your hats off. Later on in the day at the wedding reception you always look to the mother of the bride to dictate when it is appropriate to take off your headpiece so as soon as she takes off hers at the reception that signals to everyone else at the wedding party it's your opportunity to then take off your headpieces too um, the final thing that I want to just sort of say a little something about on hats is that traditionally the earlier in the day that a wedding starts, the larger the hat you can get away with wearing. And as it moves more and more towards an evening event, the smaller those little pieces will become. So I guess that sort of summarises my thoughts on hats. Finally guys, let's talk about footwear. Footwear is really crucial at a wedding. So my first rule of thumb is no new shoes and you'll more than likely have something new in your outfit if not an entirely new outfit. But I would suggest that you definitely wear in your shoes before the big day. Now with regards to the type of footwear to wear, you want to be thinking stylish but also comfortable. So you don't necessarily go for the highest pair of heels, the thinnest stiletto. You also want to really pay attention to where the reception venue is. If it's on grass, you may even want to consider wearing a wedge. Or failing that, invest in some of these heel protectors that work a dream. And something that I always tend to do is carry a pair of butterfly flats in my, in my bag, in my clutch bag. They're tiny, they fold up like this. And then at the end of the night, um, to kind of save the embarrassment of hobbling around or really kind of going for it on the dance floor and perhaps it not ending so well you can just slip on a beautiful pair of flats something that really matches and tones in with the outfit that you've chosen to wear and you can finish your night on a chic peak guys thank you so much for watching this week if you have anything to add if you think i've missed anything drop it down below um, if you want to say anything else if you're looking for anything for a wedding let me know in the meantime have a wonderful and safe week take care guys is here I know my universe will never be the same I'm glad you came